and action! The effects in the atrium had to be larger and more spectacular than the previous scenes, and we really wanted to finish on a grand finale between these two great wizards fighting each other. David wanted to feel like the wizards were using things within the set, that they were using elements that they could conjure and turn into more dangerous and powerful spells. We came up with various ideas, um, the first of which you see that the wands lock together whilst the two are dueling. This is the initial wand duel where Voldemort and Dumbledore's wand beams collide and create this hot molten sun in the centre as this drippy lava material splatters around and is, causes a lot of danger and mayhem. You can see here we could have put in little lens flares and things that augment the image and make it a bit more punchy. The next stage is Voldemort turns fire into a huge 60-foot fiery serpent which towers above Dumbledore. We built the snake out of this hot liquid magma core and then we launch flames up over his whole surface, pulling back more off the head so we could reveal features and give a little character. And then we built up flames around the back and revealed areas that looked interesting. Dumbledore uses the water from the fountain on the set to encase Voldemort into a watery prison, which picks him up and moves him. To shoot the scenes of Voldemort trapped in the water, uh, one of the things they did was set up a rig for Ray Fiennes to sit on. I'm on the top of a, like a sort of metal pole strapped to a kind of pivot that turned around and I was being tossed around. I was safe, but I had, it took me a, t a few takes to feel how safe it was. The shots of Voldemort performing against the blue screen are roughly timed and shot according to a bunch of previews we did that show the progression of the water picking him up, starting to spin him and then holding him and moving him across the room. Once we had those plates, we would do the water simulations on top. Voldemort breaks out of that, and he basically shatters every single window in the whole of this space and environment, including all of the virtual space where the CG set extension is. They had a lot of practical office windows exploding on the Ministry of Magic set. They did it multiple ways and shot it from different angles, and a lot of those shots we treated minimally, either adding a little bit of extra dangerous glass towards camera or adding a few additional offices that weren't part of the set, so combining with the live action. So we're trying to hand off and pick up this little insert of the computer graphics version of offices blowing out. It's a titanic battle at the end of the film. The two greatest wizards the world's ever known. It's a marvelous thing to see.